Neurons can be classified functionally or they can be classified structurally. Let's look first at functional classifications of neurons. You are looking at a section of the spinal cord. So this is the central nervous system. And we have nerve fibers here in the peripheral nervous system. When we talk about classifying a neuron functionally, we're basically classifying it based on the direction in which it is sending nerve impulses. Is it sending nerve impulses toward the central nervous system, away from the central nervous system, or within the central nervous system. Sensory neurons detect stimuli in the peripheral nervous system. So they have receptors that detect stimuli and then send nerve impulses from those receptors toward the central nervous system as sensory input. So these are sensory neurons. Motor neurons, which are found in the central nervous system, send electrical signals away from the central nervous system out to effectors. These are motor or efferent neurons. Interneurons, shown here in green, connect the sensory and motor neurons. Interneuron or association neurons send nerve impulses within the central nervous system. Neurons are also classified structurally, and they're classified by the number of processes that they have. Remember, a process is an extension, a nerve fiber that extends from the cell body. A neuron that has multiple processes, such as this one, one, two, three, four, five, etc. If it has more than two, we'll say multiple, more than two, it is a multipolar neuron, as shown here. Where have we seen multipolar neurons? Well, our motor neuron and our interneurons are multipolar neurons. Notice the multiple processes that they have. If the cell has exactly two processes, it is a bipolar neuron. You may look at this neuron and think it's got multiple processes. However, a process is specifically an extension from the cell body. Here's the cell body, here's one process, Here's the other process. So this is a bi bipolar neuron. Bipolar neurons are rare in the human body. We have some in some special sense organs, such as the eyes. A unipolar neuron has one single process, and that would be this one right here. All right, we have one process right there. Now, it is common for students to mistakenly identify this neuron as a bipolar neuron. A lot of times students will focus on, here's one, here's two processes, it's bipolar, right? Again, a process is an extension from the cell body. There's only one extension from the cell body. These are branches of that process. So this is unipolar. Don't make the mistake of calling this bipolar. It is unipolar. Where have we seen a unipolar neuron before? Going back to this figure, we can quickly answer that question. This is where we saw a unipolar neuron. Remember those sensory neurons? They're also unipolar neurons. Here is the single process, and here are the two branches off of that process. All sensory neurons are also unipolar neurons.